Being a community reviewer for Project Catalyst is, in my opinion, one of the most meaningful ways to earn some extra ADA. You do get paid for the reviews you do, which is super interesting. And if you are constantly reviewing, constantly participating, you have the chance to grow your reputation and make more uh, with your reviews, depending on your performance. But if you want to be a reviewer for Fund 11 of Project Catalyst, you need to register now. The registration phase is on. And in this video, we'll show you everything you need to know about registering for a reviewer. But also, I'll tell you a little bit of my own experience as a reviewer in the previous fund. <music> You know, as I told you, I'll tell a little bit about my story uh, over being a reviewer in uh, Fun 10 of Project Catalyst, and I'll tell you as well everything you need to know on how you can become a reviewer, the different levels for reviewers, the rewards and everything. And, you know, I know everyone likes to be recognized and rewarded for their work. So that's why we have here the incentives for participating. Uh, in, in Project Catalyst, the different incentives, and we are going to start by talking about these rewards because I think it is important for people to feel that their work will be valued and I know that everyone likes to, to earn some extra crypto. So yeah, this is the incentives we have for, for Fund 11 of Project Catalyst. As you can see here, we have voter rewards as well. Uh, so you earn rewards for voting as well, dependent on the amount of ADA you have. And if you want to know how you can register to vote, because you need to do that as well and everything related with that topic, you have a video here at the top for you to check, a video I've done about uh, voting registration and its importance, especially if you didn't participate in uh, Fun 10, to check out that video. But then we have the community reviewers here. And for level zeros and level ones that I'll explain later how you qualify for each of these levels, this is the pool of rewards available. You'll be paid by a review, so I'll talk uh, a little bit about that later. And for community moderators that are basing the people, the level twos that are checking the reviews from level ones and level zeros, they have this amount of ADA to, to be rewarded amongst them, um, which is significant considering that's not a lot of work is just checking out some reviews. And then, of course, we also have rewards for the people that are uh, checking the milestones for the projects, the, the proof of achievement rewards, and the people that are helping with onboarding the projects into Project Catalyst, into starting to deliver everything. And, of course, checking the proof of life, checking that there are actually people behind the proposals that got voted in. But now I'll tell you a little bit of my story, as promised. Um, last fun, Fun 10, was the first time I participated as a reviewer in Project Catalyst. So naturally, as you can imagine, I was a level zero at the time. That's the level for beginners. And I did uh, my allocated amount. I had 30 reviews allocated, 30 projects. So it's random. You just choose what you like. Uh, the categories you'd like to review on and your interests and they randomly allocate you something so you don't um, just support your friends and we review i reviewed those proposals carefully i put in uh, around one hour of work at least for each proposal so it's considerable but it was super interesting it was super rewarding to check all the amazing proposals we had to, to see the great ideas and the great level of details some people put into their proposals and to just help Project Catalyst run in a, in a better way, I think, because we, at least on my side, I did take time to do um, an analysis to the best of my abilities, uh, knowing that I'm not a, an expert in every topic, but it was super interesting, super interesting work. And at the end of the fund, I was rewarded with around 700 data. So I did my 30 reviews and plus, I don't know, maybe 10 reviews extra, something like that, because I had some time and then I found it interesting. Um, but yeah, it was a super nice experience and you do get uh, rewarded for that. And the cool thing is like you start level zero, the rewards are not as enticing in level zero, but if you do a good job, your reviews are approved, you do this, take the time to make honest reviews with no AI or anything, 
um, you, you get bumped up to another level. And I think that's super interesting. Coming here to this fund, we already have the fund uh, rules here on, uh, on the documentation of Project Catalyst. I'll leave the links in the description for you to check out. And as you can see here, we have three level levels of reviewers. Level zero is for the Lexus experience reviewers, people that have started. Level zeros will be invited, as last time, to review up to 30 proposals that will be randomly allocated. You'll be able to set some of your interests when you're registering to be a reviewer. We'll show you that process later in this video as well. But um, this is basically um, how it's randomly allocated. Then we have level one reviewers that are reviewers with some experience and some reviews and a good threshold of acceptance of these reviews. They are invited to review up to 80 proposals. So a lot of proposals allocated. And it's again based on your preferences. Then we have level two reviewers, the community moderators that basically check any of the flag reviews by the Catalyst script. They are just providing honest, uh, checking if people are providing honest opinions, you know, objective scores, instead of just trying to gamify the system to gain rewards. So basically, if you're just putting AI, if you're just copy pasting things from the proposal, if you're just, um, I don't know, just writing the same old things for all the proposals, you probably get flagged and your review might not be valid and you might end up not earning any rewards and then it will be very hard for you to climb up the the levels because your reviews are not being accepted for reviewing the process is simple you just have a one to five um, score you can give for three criteria that are impact feasibility and value for money and you just need to give an opinion for each of these criteria. okay if you're wondering how can you climb up uh, the process for the community reviewer levels? Well, basically, as you know, if you're a beginner or if you have a low percentage or a low amount of reviews or approved reviews, you'll be in level zero. But if you want to be eligible for level one, you have to have an account on IDScale and have to have participated before in reviewing the proposals. And to be eligible, you need to have at least a minimum of 15 reviews with a threshold of at least 70% valid assessments, you know, submitted from your total work. So it's really important. That's how you get there. To qualify to level two uh, reviewer in Fund 11, then you need to have uh, 20 reviews with at least 80% accurate assessments submitted in terms of your total work. And... Um, yeah, moreover, the level two should be active in fund uh, 10 as a level zero or level one reviewer, meaning to, that they should have at least one review submitted. These are the criteria, and these are the criteria that should follow as well uh, for next fund, I think, because at least from fund 10, the fund 11 criteria for the levels are very similar, and it's, it's pretty achievable if you participate today as a... Um, as a level zero and if you do a good job uh, in the next fund you might be a level one or maybe even a level two so i think that's really positive but as they said it here after fund 11 there might be a refinement of these levels so yeah that's it that's it. something that can be a bit different next fund but still you know if you do the work if you keep um showing up for the different funds it's only a matter of time until you are in the top levels and you have access to more rewards that matters for you but at the same time you also have the chance to have a more meaningful and significant contribution but now let's dive more specifically into these rewards what are you going to get for each of the levels and as you can see here level zero will re will receive a maximum of 25 ada per review okay so you know this amount can be less if you know you have a lot of level zeros completing a lot of reviews if you have a lot of level ones completing more than the 80 reviews but however it's important to notice that to receive the rewards from reviewing you need to have at least 10 valid reviews so not just 10 reviews 10 valid reviews uh, so please make sure you put in the work uh, enough work to make sure that you you, you are uh, getting the rewards of course the benefit as well is that, as you know, level one reviews have 80 um, proposals allocated to them and many of them are not able to complete all those proposals, all those reviews. 
So the, the extra amount that exceeds in that pool will go to the level zero pool. So it will make for extra rewards um, for the level zero reviewers, but still the maximum is 25 ADA per review. Level ones can expect a fixed amount of 50 ADA okay, per allocated review, which is more much more significant. It's double. So if you think about it, climbing in hierarchy can be very positive. Um, and it's exciting. Just imagine just being do, doing this kind of work and earning money for partici participating in decentralized ecosystems, uh, in, a, in this case, a decentralized fund. You know, I think it's super interesting. And uh, as I love entrepreneurship, I think it's great to uh, have the chance to be connected with so many ideas. As stated here, if you perform more than the AD allocated, you, you, you receive rewards from the level zero part, okay? And for the level one to receive rewards, you also must have at least 10 valid reviews. So that's super important because any reviews under these, you'll not get any rewards. Also, another very important note is that whether you are a level zero or one, um, if you don't meet the criteria of a 35% approval rate, um, then with a minimum sample of five moderated reviews, then um, you won't get any rewards for your work. So if your reviews are really bad, you won't get anything. So yeah, just don't worry. It's not hard to have a good review. You just need to put some text, some valuable constructive criticism for the proposals without being um, offensive or anything like that. And that's it. And put your grade, what you think they are worth. Uh, and if you don't use any tricks, you, you'll be fine. At least that's what happened to me in the previous round. Level two reviewers are reviewers that are also going to moderate other reviews and they can expect a maximum of five ADA per, per review they check. Okay. And, you know, it's something that's supposed to be fast and straightforward. So five ADA is not bad. It doesn't take as much time and effort as reading through an, an entire proposal, I would say. And naturally, only the valid published reviews will be rewarded. The ones that are discarded, the ones that are not valid, won't be rewarded, which is normal. It makes all the sense in the world. But now let's check the timeline for community reviewers. If you want to participate, this is very important to bear in mind. The registration period started uh, more than a week ago on the 23rd of November. That's very important. But it finishes on the 10th of December um, the time to register. I'll show you how to register immediately after going through the timeline. Then the review period will be from the 14th of December until the 4th of January. It, it, it's in the middle of the Christmas time, but it's also a lot of time, more than enough time to get everything done. And then from January 11th to the 18th of January, we have the moderation period by um, L2 reviewers, checking all the reviews that were made or not all, but the, the flagged ones and the random sample. And then on the 22nd of January, we'll have uh, the data information about the reviews and about everything and which ones are valid, which ones are not, etc. And um, you'll receive your community review rewards in March. Okay, so it takes a while to get your rewards, but still uh, you'll get them, don't, don't worry. To register for Project Catalyst uh, Fund 11, if you open your account on Scale, you'll likely get a pop-up just like this if you already have an account. And then you just have to follow these instructions here to, to register. In the pop-up here, you answer this question if you want to be a community reviewer. In my case, I want. You choose your preferred challenges. Um, so you can choose between all the challenges. These are the ones I, I selected. Then you can choose your preferred teams, what you want to talk about. Um, you have a lot of options here, so go through them and select them all. Then if it's your first time, please uh, add your, your address below for rewards. And then here, do not edit the rest. Your allocations will show up here on Fund11 allocations whenever they are ready. And you can see the proposals, click and go review on the ones that will be randomly uh, done for you. And then you can choose here as well which kind of person you are. I have entrepreneur, marketing professional, but you have more things like developer, teacher, community manager, SQL operator, select your own. And whenever you're ready, just submit. 
Another option is you can just log into your account and if you don't get the pop-up, you can just click here at the top in the notification, not next to the notification bell and you have your profile questions, profile action items and you get the same form, you just need to fill it in the same way as I told you and click on submit once you're ready. And that's it, that's the process. You just need to mark the important dates in your calendar, be aware when the community reviewer uh, period starts on December the 14th and start doing your reviews then um, and, and that's it and then you'll get your rewards so yeah bear in mind that it do take some time so pay attention to that give yourself some time to be able to do the reviews you need to get rewarded for that to achieve the minimum thresholds we discussed here meanwhile you can just take a look at some of the proposals we have here on Catalyst we have some awesome proposals now, to wrap it up, if you want to know just more about Fund11 in general and not uh, community reviews in specific, then I advise you to check out my first video about the Fund11 of Project Catalyst. The video will be here on the end screen for you to watch. And on my side, thanks so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. And I'll see you in the video about Project Catalyst.